Hello and welcome to Cost Engineering Professional. I am Ahmed Adel and in this video we'll be talking about how to make concrete works BOQ in accordance with principles of measurement international starting right now. So section C of BOQ which is concrete works in accordance with principles of measurement international consists of several subsections. The first one is generally about concrete works and we will see what is that now. And we have the poured concrete, we have the reinforcement, shuttering, precast concrete and pre-stressed concrete and some sundries or miscellaneous small items, let's say. So generally, when you are talking about concrete works, you have reinforced concrete and you have PCC or plain cement concrete or plain poured concrete. So each of these two must be described. So reinforced poured concrete and plain poured concrete shall each be so described. You have to describe it is a reinforced or PCC, then you list down your items under that. And this is a general thing when it comes to concrete works. Poured concrete required by specification to be placed, compacted, cured, or otherwise treated in a particular manner shall be so described. So if you need some special treatment or placing or compaction or anything for your concrete works, then in that case, this has to be described in your BOQ. So if you are looking for ready mix concrete, you have to specify that supply of ready mix concrete and it has to be vibrated by so and so means and so on. It has to be treated by so and so means. So all these things should come in your description. When it comes to the deductions, no deductions shall be made for voids less than one cubic meter, nor for the volume of any reinforcement or structural metal enclosed in the concrete. So any voids less than one cubic meter shall not be deducted from your quantity and a very good example for that is the doors in the core walls for example you have core walls for the elevators or core walls for the staircase in that case you shouldn't deduct the door because the door will be let's say one meter into 2.2 height into 0.25 which is the wall thickness this will be less than one cubic meter so it shouldn't be deducted from your quantity and this is as per the principles of measurement international also the steel reinforcement that will come in any concrete element the steel reinforcement volume will not be deducted from your quantity so if you have a footing one by one by one that's one cubic meter and you will not deduct the steel reinforcement that is inside this footing except that voids caused by a boxed or tubular structural metal work shall always be deducted so let's assume that you have a beam that includes inside the beam a box section of a steel structure let's say so in that case yes this box section will make a hollow inside the beam so in that case yes this has to be deducted from the concrete works but otherwise if just normal reinforcement then this will not be deducted from the works unless otherwise described horizontal surfaces of concrete shall be understood to be tamped and a good example for that when you are doing the cube test or slump test usually you make some vibration or compaction to the concrete which is in the cone so this will make the horizontal level tamped or compacted and also when you are casting the concrete you have to vibrate the concrete and all this stuff so anyway any horizontal surface of concrete shall be understood to be tamped and this is included in the rate that will come in the BOQ. Subsection number C2 which is poured concrete. So unless otherwise stated poured concrete shall be measured by volume. It will always be measured by volume any poured concrete and it will be classified as following. We have foundations, pile caps, blinding, beds, suspended slabs, walls, columns, beams, staircase diaphragm walls and any other classifications like tunnel lining abutments and all this stuff so regarding the foundations it will include combined or isolated bases all of these are foundations then you have the pile caps and the pile caps should include any ground or tie beams that connecting the pile caps to each other and actually i've seen so many boqs where they separate the pile cap from the tie beam from the ground beam but as per principles of measurement international they say that ground beams shall be part of the pile caps then you have the blindings then beds which shall include roads and footpath 
stating the thickness of any bed that you have some beds can come under the pipes or something like that for the drainage you have also the suspended slabs which shall include floors landing roofs or the like so any suspended slab will be measured by volume all these items will be measured by volume but for the slabs you have to state the thickness then after that you have the wool walls shield walls water tank walls all this stuff which shall include attached columns so if inside your wall there is one column this will be calculated in the walls or as a part of the wall stating the thickness then after that you have the columns of the building itself then you have the beams measured below the slab so whenever you are measuring a beam the beam will be measured in cubic meter and you will take only the volume that will be below the slab because when you are measuring the slab itself you will measure the slab from the edge so the remaining part of the beam which is below the slab this will be your quantity for the beams and this is as per the principle of measurement international as we are seeing here then staircase which shall include steps and strings and all this stuff then diaphragm walls which is a type of shoring but if the type of shoring is diaphragm walls then it has to be measured under the subsection number two which is poured concrete in concrete works boq which is section c then other classifications like tunnel lining or bridge abutments as may be appropriate these also will come under your concrete works boq continuing the subsection number two poured concrete so poured concrete suspended slabs of a special construction including floors landings roof or the like shall be measured by area so if it's a suspended slab but it has a special construction criteria then in that case it has to be measured by area so covered or trough slabs shall be so described giving the details of solid margins or the like so if you have any let's say hardy slabs or hulu core slabs or this stuff then you have to measure them by area and you have to state the thickness and if there are any outer margins or beams or something like that then this has to be specified and the details must be given in the boq where an item is required to be measured by volume and the thickness is stated then items of differing thickness may be grouped together so if you want to measure any item in volume and these items or this item has more than one element and they are differing in thickness then you can group them together in one item but you have to give a range of the thicknesses so provided that the range of different thicknesses is stated so you can say whatever element let's say for example slabs so you are measuring slabs in volume and you can say that this volume or this quantity of a slab including slabs that is differing from 200 mm thick up to let's say 350 mm thick and the quantity will include all of them subsection number three which is the steel reinforcement so the weight of bar reinforcement shall be the net weight without addition of rolling margin supports spacers or tying wires so first of all when you are measuring the steel reinforcement in the boq it will be measured in weight this weight will not include any overlapping that you will have in the steel it will not include any rolling margin supports spacers or binding wires tying wires all this stuff are not included if you have in your slab let's say 100 kg of steel that's it so 100 or 1000 or whatever that's it you are not allowing for any overlapping for the binding wire all these additional weights will not be part of your boq quantity the quantity is only the steel reinforcement theoretically it is measured and this is similar to when we have discussed the excavation when we say that when we are measuring the excavation it has to be the exact volume that will be replaced by a concrete element same here the exact let's say weight of the steel that will come in the slab not considering any overlapping or anything like that bar reinforcement shall be measured by weight stating the diameter so if you have 8 mm 10 mm 12 14 16 and so on then you have to give these details in the boq and you have to give the weight of each diameter so from each diameter how many kgs are there in that project so bars of differing diameters shall be given separately so as we said you will just make 8 mm 10 mm 12 14 and so on continuing the reinforcement fabric reinforcement shall be measured by area without addition for laps so if you have some brc mesh which is commonly used in a slab on grade or something like that such meshes will be ready made so they are measured in area and you will again you will not allow for any overlapping for these meshes you will just measure the area of the slab on grade and this will be the exact area that you will put in your boq in square meters reinforcement shall be given as an item where the detailed design works is the responsibility of the contractor so if the contract is designed and built 
then the steel reinforcement in that case will be an item only in the BOQ and the unit will be item. Why? Because you don't know the design yet. You cannot measure the quantity yet because it will be designed by the contractor in the future. So it has to be given as an item in the BOQ. This playlist here has all the videos that we have published so far related to the principles of measurement international from the beginning in a proper sequence. So if you didn't watch any of the previous videos, you can watch them from there. And thank you so much for watching this video and I'll see you in the next one. Stay safe and happy Ramadan, by the way. Take care. Bye bye.